Hello everyone and welcome back to Veluwe Zoo. And in the previous episode we built this lovely little habitat for the timber wolves. And uh, luckily enough it's uh, not that busy anymore uh, because when I finished this one there were like uh, 2000 people on this bridge. So now I think they are enjoying their new habitat a little bit more. So yeah again before we jump to uh, the speed build I want to uh, manage my zoo a little bit. And uh, we start off by uh, getting a little present of $4000 present. I'm not calling that a little present anymore so earn a yearly profit of eighty three thousand and five hundred dollars i did that so uh, yeah thank you very much and we have to uh, release a salt water crocodile to the wild again let's see how many do i have here i only have two of them hmm. yeah i'm not releasing them i think you can actually uh, remove these things you can see if i just sort of click the red cross then it's gone easy by the way, I'm uh, already getting a little bit scared. You can see that my frame rate, uh, I hope I hope you guys can't really see it, but my frame rate is uh, dropping a little bit. So um, yeah, I'm, I'm really not even halfway of adding all the animals in this zoo and it's already, uh, yeah, starting to give me a hard time. I have like almost 4,000 guests in my zoo right now, which is quite a lot. You can also see it, it's getting uh, a little bit crowded in some places but yeah we will uh, we will see how we, uh, we get along you only have one message i'm doing some research of course so uh, i'm doing some research on the llama and on the timber wolf you can also see i've been uh, playing around with the paths a little bit so i really want to extend this one. Oh, there's a flying bench here let's remove that uh but yeah this uh i'm not sure what i want to do with this layout but yeah, we will see uh, what I come up with uh, with the uh, with the speed build. And now uh, one of my pygmy hippos just matured. So let's uh, check on that. We have adult over here. It's a very small adult. Do you see that? Let's um, send you to the trade center. Otherwise, they will start fighting probably. Oh, these are already those two females. Two females fighting. This is the alpha male. All good, I think. Let's do a quick check on the numbers again. So let's go to the uh, zoo overview. Take a look at the guests. They're still a bit thirsty, hungry. Toilet, uh, it's getting better than in previous episode. Let's do this again. I actually hired some new security guards. Because I only had one for the entire zoo. But they still have a low workload. But yeah, I thought it would be uh, better. All my vendors have a really high workload. Let's, get, let's give them some training. Maybe that will help. Let's just click them all. I really have a lot of them. How many vendors do I have? I have 40 vendors. Alright, let's give my uh, mechanic some uh, training as well. And some of my keepers. There is actually not much to do today. You can see there are uh, no messages. No goals. We have a community challenge. So uh, if you guys have uh, some orangutans to sell. I would say, uh, yeah contribute to the community challenge but i don't have them so uh, yeah i'm sorry i'm not doing anything how are we doing financially by the way let's check on that i was still making a lot of profit each year which is good can i maybe stop one of the i don't want those so many guests in my zoo i know it sounds a little bit weird but let's see if i stop them both if i still make a profit then i'm okay so yeah as i told you already uh, not much to do my zoo is running uh, very very well so let's switch uh, to the building time lapse right now all right and today we are going to expand the entrance area or uh, the beginning of the zoo and uh, we are going to connect it a little bit more with the uh, north american section so we are going to build a habitat for the American bison and the uh, pronghorn antelope in uh, this episode. And uh, yeah, this will basically also mark the uh, end of the area or this area basically. Uh, so at the back of the uh, habitat we will have a lot of trees and stuff like that. So that will be the end of the zoo. And uh, we start off by creating this uh, viewing area. It's quite a big one. I really wanted to have like a boardwalk for the guests so they can see the entire habitat. The habitat will be quite big in the end. Uh, but yeah, we uh, make sure you uh, stick through to the end so you can see the uh, entire thing of course. And uh, I just started with a little shelter space and the shelter space will also include some of the staff buildings because the staff buildings were quite far away from the wolf habitat as well. So I wanted to include a, a keeper hut and a staff room. Um, so yeah, this uh, will be much better for the management of uh, the zoo. 
So uh, just experimenting a little bit with uh, some arctic pieces and some logs. And I finally came up with this uh, thing. I finally downloaded that uh, little archer thing by the way from uh, the workshop. I didn't want the guests to be able to look into the shelter space because I wanted to give the animals a little bit of privacy but then again I was thinking about the smell uh, so, so yeah I thought it would be good to have some uh, windows in there. Um, so yeah making sure the terrain is uh, even uh, getting uh, it in the right spot I wanted to have a path behind the uh, building so I could connect the uh, staff buildings that are in there. Um, so I'm putting it in the right position and uh, we'll put the uh, yeah the keeper hut and the staff room right in there with uh, some uh, staff pathing. Um, I finally came up uh, or why I had to change the pathing on the back of the building in the end uh, because I didn't want the guests to be able to walk here uh, but the guests or the staff parts are just really ugly in this game so uh, I wasn't really happy with it but yeah I had to. Um, so yeah, putting a roof in, just a really simple flat top roof, uh, some uh, some wooden planks I think these are and uh, yeah, making a nice wooden trim on it just to uh, make it look a little bit more interesting. But uh, yeah, in the end it's not really a uh, really interesting looking building but that's also what I wanted to go for. So this is still the beginning of the zoo and um, I yeah. I just wanted to have the idea that this part of the zoo has been here for quite a few years so they started out with a few habitats so with the llamas and with the with the bisons and the pronghorn antelope and uh, just a really simple wooden structure for the animals to have some shelter space and I think it looks quite realistic if you would visit the zoo you will definitely see a building like this um, yeah so nothing fancy just a shelter space for the animals where they can sleep and where they can uh, yeah, just chill out a little bit. So right now I'm uh, trying to put the floor in. You will see me struggling a bit. Sometimes you, you can get the grid to almost like zero in height. But somehow it didn't want to work for me. Um, so I'm trying out different things. But I really wanted the concrete in there. So I finally uh, just put it in there. In the end I will split it from the group and just lower it a little bit. I'm not sure if I recorded that yes or no. But it might be... Uh, might be off camera but I fixed that in the end. The animals are still able to uh, use it by the way. So that's not really uh, that's not really an issue. So yeah this is uh, basically the biggest issue uh, we, uh, we are having with this zoo. I really yeah, do not like the position that I put the North American section in. Um, I learned something that I really have to plan out the zoo a little bit better. Because right now yeah, I don't know. I have to make something nice out of it and uh, it, it, yeah, it will be a struggle. Hopefully we will uh, we'll get there without moving uh, stuff too much around. Uh, but yeah, trying to get these two um, areas connected is quite a challenge. And uh, also this is quite a challenge. You will see me struggling with this uh, path uh, quite a bit. I didn't want to make the connection I wanted. So I really want to have that like small stairs um to a little viewing area on this side but yeah the game uh, yeah didn't want me to make it so yeah somehow i i managed to to get it working but it yeah it has been a struggle i have uh, a little bit more problems with the pathing tool uh, lately i'm not sure if it's just me or yeah they changed something in the tool i don't know but uh, i've been i'm having a little bit more struggles uh, with it uh, but yeah, we, uh, we're going uh, back into uh, the habitat. Finally, uh, some rocks again. Um, these animals, so the bisons and the pronghorn antelope, don't really like a lot of foliage. So I can't do much inside the habitat. So we have to make it look interesting with just some rocks and some, um, yeah, basically uh, some terrain work and, and stuff like that. So it's uh, a little bit more challenging, a little bit more difficult. Um, but yeah, in the end it does look pretty good in my opinion and only yeah, a few plants and uh, yeah, I'm really happy with the terrain work but we will um, we will do that in a minute. We uh, start uh, by uh, adding some wooden walls to the other viewing area. Uh, you will see me doing this uh, a few times um, because when I extend these wooden locks you can already see it that it will uh, not be perfectly straight. 
So the best way to do this is basically to make one wall and then uh, copy this one over and over like I'm doing right now. Uh, but yeah, first add all the details, put all the fencing in there that you want and then start copying it. That was a mistake that I made, yeah, probably twice. Um, but yeah, just some uh, custom fencing over here again with these uh, wooden locks and these row pieces. I really like the look of it. I used it in the desert building and I thought it would fit in perfectly with this area. So that's why I decided to do it the same thing again on uh, this area. Also, about my next project, I really want to start a new sandbox zoo again. And in a previous episode, I asked you guys what you would like to see as the way I'm recording it. And basically everyone voted for a, a speed build style again. So I'm really happy to get your opinion about that. That's really, really helps me out deciding uh, what to do. Um, so yeah, I, I want to thank everyone who... Uh, who put, uh, posted a comment on that video. It really helped me out a lot. Um, so yeah, thank you very much for that. There were quite a lot of people who actually uh, commented on that one. So uh, yeah, that was uh, perfect uh, to make a decision for that. I'm not sure when I'm going to start with that new project. Um, I really have to plan everything out because that was the biggest mistake I made with this zoo. And I don't want to make that same mistake twice. So um, yeah, I'm... I'm We'll start drawing and we'll start getting ideas about what I want to do. And I want to do something different, of course, from what everyone else is doing. Um, but yeah, we will see uh, what I can come up with. And uh, yeah, I, I just really feel like creating a, a nice sandbox zoo again. Um, what I do have in mind is that I want to create a smaller zoo. So I don't want to go too big, but I don't want to keep in mind like... Uh, building pieces and frame rates and stuff like that. I just want to make something nice and not too big. Um, so again, not a uh, like 50 episode series. I don't know uh, because Velo Zoo is probably gonna be a uh, a big one um, because right now we are almost at like episode 19 or 20. I'm not sure which one uh, uh, this is, but yeah, we are definitely not there at all. So yeah, it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be a quite a some work for this zoo so i don't want to do the same thing with the sandbox zoo so we can uh, switch projects once in a while uh, but yeah about this habitat i just started with the terrain work some uh, some sand some uh, dirt uh, the animals like uh, quite a bit of long grass so what i try to do with the terrain work is, is again i will use the terrain painting of the rocks uh, alongside the rocks and then i go in with some dirt and basically I will draw out the path that the animals will use quite a lot. So around the shelter and around the water, the animals will walk there quite a bit. And um, so I use the dirt over there. And then the, uh, the other open areas will have uh, some long grass over there. So since I can't really use any trees inside the habitat, I thought it would look perfect to have a lot of trees on the back of the habitat. So uh, that's why I decided to um, include that in this episode to make the uh, habitat look a little bit more interesting uh, just to give the guests a really good view so you they will have the view over the animals and they will have a nice forest on at the back of the habitat so that's what i wanted to go for uh, uh, for this uh, episode so yeah this uh, another uh, small viewing area on this side um, yeah, for now I will only put the fence in. Uh, when I finished it, I thought it would look a little bit, yeah, boring. I don't know. I wanted to create a little roof on top of it, so I will start uh, doing that in a minute. Uh, but first, I want to give the animals uh, some place to sleep. You can see there's already uh, one bison in there, and uh, the other animals. Uh, I will add them later, of course. You will see them in the end of the video in the cinematic. So uh, make sure you check that one out. And uh, yeah, I'm starting on the, um, the viewing area right now. Uh, you might have already noticed this. I edited this video a little bit different from what I usually do. So stuff like this, I would usually cut this out. So I would go to the roof that I used in the end straight away. But I also want to show you guys that yeah, I do experiment with the pieces quite a lot. And that was also the idea behind Failure Bazoo. Uh, that I would show you guys the struggles as well. So um, yeah, I 
I don't want to keep that in the videos. Um, but what I had to do is I speed... Normally I speed it up six times for Velo Azul. But right now I speed it up seven times. It's a little bit more pleasing to watch. It's a little bit more... Yeah, diverse. I won't be doing the same thing for like two minutes. I, I think this is just... Uh, the speed is a little bit better. So uh, I finally found out that the I still had a filter on for a temperate region or something like that. So uh, I found a few more plants that I can use. I put them in and then, yeah, I decided I don't like them. I will remove quite a lot of them. Uh, just finishing everything off with some terrain painting and uh, just to make everything look nice. I thought this part looked a little bit weird with the uh, with the hills. So I am um, smoothing that one out. A little bit more just some small rocks uh, a few yeah a bit more detailing and um, yeah in the end of the video i will uh, finish up the uh, the area around it i will fix the wolf habitat of course i'm not fixing the reindeer habitat i moved all those animals to the trade center by the way so i removed the barriers of the wolf habitat i removed the entire thing on the front of the reindeer habitat so i still have to fix that uh, but I probably will do that uh, off camera and uh, we'll show you guys that in the next video. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did make sure you hit that like button. And if you didn't do it already make sure you subscribe to my channel so you won't miss out on any new content. And I will speak to you guys in the next one. Goodbye.